Today I'll be showing you the pour over method using the Chemex coffee maker to brew yourself a nice cup of joe. You can get the Chemex coffee maker and the filters at their website or go to Amazon. Both will be available. Let's get into the other tools I'll be using as well. The first thing you're going to definitely need is a gooseneck kettle. I've actually already got water boiling and it's just sitting there waiting for me to brew this coffee. Next, I've got my coffee. So I'm just using a dark roast. Any freshly roasted coffee will work for you. I'm using a Barazza style coffee grinder. This is the Encore. The setting is going to be about 20 to 21 to get a medium coarse grind for this coffee method. The last tool I'm going to be using is a scale. So this is just a simple scale by Taylor and I'm going to be using grams today, which brings us to our next point, which is the ratios. So today I'll be brewing two cups of coffee. So I'm going to use about 50 grams of grinded up coffee beans, as well as 700 grams of right off the boil water. First thing I'm going to do is actually rinse the filter and you'll notice there's four layers. You want to separate it so that there's one layer and three layers on the other side. Just put your pointer finger down to actually stuff that into the Chemex coffee maker just like this. Next, I'm going to go ahead and rinse it. Since my water is still on the stove boiling, it'll be perfect for rinsing this paper filter out. So this is an important part of the process because what you're doing is rinsing out some of those loose fibers from your filter. You're warming up your Chemex coffee maker so you have a nice hot cup of coffee. One thing I like to do is actually pour out the rest of the water into the glass or mug that I'll be using so that gets warmed up as well and you don't want to accidentally brew your coffee while that water is still in your vessel. It's important that you actually measure all your ingredients that way you get the perfect cup of coffee. First thing I'm going to do is take this container out, zero out my scale. Important you do this after you put this part on there. Then pour in your coffee to measure 50 grams of coffee beans. So we'll go ahead and grind this coffee and then we'll start brewing. Coffee is done. As you can see, it's got like a medium coarse grind to it. I'm going to go ahead and put it into my coffee filter. I've already measured it so I don't have to worry about that and then I can start brewing my coffee. My water is at the perfect temperature. I've got my coffee in the filter. I'm going to zero out my scale right now so it is at zero and I'm going to start pouring. What I'm doing here is I'm going to start in the middle and just kind of rinse all the coffee grounds so I get to about 100 grams of water. This part is really important because what you're doing is blooming your coffee grounds and you can let this happen for about 30 to 60 seconds. Once that's done, you're going to go ahead and pour in the rest of your water until you get to about 700 grams of water. What I like to do is start in the middle and I work my way out. And then I'm going to work my way back to the center and just do a steady small circle until I hit 700 grams on the scale. All the water is in there. I stopped around 705 grams and I'm going to go ahead and let this drip for, you know, about two to three minutes. I'm not going to let all the water drip in. So once the drip becomes like a true drip and not really a pour, I'm going to remove the filter and the coffee grounds into this bowl. All right, so my coffee is done. I'm going to go ahead and pour it into my warmed up coffee mug. got yourself a nice smooth cup of coffee. Let's taste it. Mm. It's a dark roast so it's kind of like caramelized sugar. 
Uh, it's got like a chocolate flavor to it. You're gonna love the coffee you get when you use a pour over method. Of course, I'm loving the Chemex coffee maker right now. If you wanna see my video where you use a Hario V60 to do pour over coffee, click or tap the screen right here to see all my recipes. Click or tap the screen right here. Make sure you subscribe and I'll talk to you later.